calculate the definite integral from x equal to zero to natural log of two of e to the minus three x plus two dx. Here, technique is gonna be integration by substitution. So, take a look at our integrand. We have a composition. So we're gonna let u be equal to the inside function. So it's gonna be minus three x plus two. du equals minus three dx. dx equals du over minus three. For here, when we evaluate, we'll just put everything over in terms of u. So I'll also have u of natural log of two, our upper limit, it's gonna be equal to minus three natural log of two plus two. U of zero is gonna be equal to two. Now, we substitute. So I'll have e to the u du over minus three. Then our limits become minus three natural log of two plus two and two. If I want the antiderivative of e to the u with respect to u, we just get back e to the u. So we're gonna wind up with minus one third e to the u. Then we evaluate at minus three natural log of two plus two and two, take the difference. So we set that up. Let's see what we can do with this. First off, I wanna break up this exponent. So I could write that as e to the minus three natural log of two times e squared. So our next step will be to factor out an e squared. And I note for the e to the minus three natural log of two, I wanna isolate e to the natural log of two. Okay, so we'll put the minus three on the outside. Now, e to the natural log of two is equal to two. e and natural log of box just equals the box. They cancel. So I have two to the minus three, which is one eighth. So we have minus one third, e squared, and then one eighth minus one, which is just minus seven eighths. So when I multiply through, I get 7 24ths e squared. Now, usually we wanna check our work. So that would be at the part where we take the antiderivative. Now, since we're doing substitution to u and staying in u, I wanna take what we evaluate with and put it back into x so I can check it. So I wanna take this term here, our minus 1 third e to the u. We'll put in our minus 3x plus two in for u and then take the derivative. So I take the derivative of this, what happens? Well, the rule is, okay, we're gonna use the chain rule. I just take our item here, put it back as is. And then we multiply by the derivative of what's on the inside. So the derivative here is gonna be minus three. It's gonna take out our minus one third, and then we're left with our integrand.